Hello everyone, my name is Arshit from Code Heroku and in uh, today's video we will be going over how to create an API for a machine learning model using Flask and we will be using YOLO algorithm as an example to run object detection on an image. At Code Heroku, our mission is to make world class computer science and engineering education accessible to millions of students, especially in developing countries like India. Object detection involves identifying the presence and location of one or more objects on an image or a video. The detected objects are identified by drawing a bounding box on them. YOLO is a family of convolutional neural networks that achieve state-of-the-art results for object detection in real time. It makes use of Darknet which is a family of convolutional neural networks based on VGG model. In this tutorial, we will focus on YOLO version 3. First. We need to download Flask and OpenCV for Python. So open up a terminal and write pip install flask. Once the download is completed, type pip install OpenCV Python. Once the download is completed, we need to download YOLO version 3. So in order to do that, go to Google and type Mohit wild beast github now click go to the yolo version 3 object detection link and click on it then go to code now if you don't know how to use git clone you can download the zip folder from here otherwise copy the link go back to terminal and write git clone and paste the link Once it is downloaded, you can see that YOLO version 3 object detection folder has appeared. Now go inside this folder and now you can see that there are a lot of files that were originally in the repository. You can also view these files in a file explorer. Next go back to the browser and now we want to download YOLO version 3 weight file for our model. Open a new tab and search for YOLO. Click on the first link which says YOLO real time object detection. This is the official home page of YOLO algorithm. Now scroll down and keep scrolling until you see detection using a pre trained model. Next, you can see that it shows a pre-trained weight file. Click on the link to download it. Then wait for the download to finish. Once the download is completed, go to your downloads directory. You can see the weights file over there. Now copy that file to your YOLO version 3 folder. Your model needs to have the weight file in the same directory to use it. Next, to try it out, Go back to the terminal and type python yolo underscore detection underscore images dot pi. It will take a few seconds to load. Then you will finally see the output of the model on an image. You can see that it has detected three objects. A dog, a person and a horse. You can also see the confidence level for each object that it has detected. Now since our model needs to have a textual output, we need to make some changes to the original script. So in a text editor of your choice, open the YOLO version 3 folder and open the YOLO detection images.py file. Now scroll down to the end of the script. Now all this code makes use of OpenCV to display the output. However, since you want text as output which can be converted to JSON, we need to remove all of this code. So delete all of this. Next, the detection NMS variable contains the output of our model. We want to use that. So first, we want to use an if statement to check if its length is greater than 0 or not. 
we are doing this because if the length is zero then that means no objects were detected now we'll use a for loop to iterate through the detected objects in nms variable we're using the flatten function because the variable contains the objects in a nested list so we want to convert it to a single list now you can see that the output of the model is stored in lists you can see a boxes list for the bounding boxes which contains the x coordinate y width and height you can also see a confidences list and a class ids list now if you scroll up you can also see a variable called labels which contains the corresponding labels for the class IDs. So we are going to print the result for each object. So write print labels class IDs i i refers to the ith object then print confidences i then print boxes i 0 which refers to the x coordinate then similarly we are going to print the y coordinate then we are going to print the width and now the height Once you write this, save the file and now go back to the terminal to run the code again. And now you can see the output of our model for each detected object. Now that we have a text output, we need to use a data structure which can be con directly converted to JSON format. So we are going to use a dictionary. So I am going to create a new dictionary and I am going to call it outputs. And now inside the if statement, I am going to create a key for the dictionary and I am going to call it detections and this is going to be a dictionary too. And inside detections, I am going to create another key which I am going to call labels and this is going to be a list. Now inside the for loop. I'm going to create another dictionary where we need to add all elements of our objects. I'm going to call this detection. So one by one, we need to add all of these elements in the detection dictionary. So first, I'll add label, then confidence, oops. then x then y then width and finally the height And now we're going to append the detection dictionary for each object inside the labels list of the outputs dictionary. Now, labels dot append and then detection. And finally, we're going to add a if statement if there are no detections. Det no object detected and finally we're going to print the outputs dictionary now save the script and run it again now you can see the output of our model in a manner much suited for json this will make the conversion to JSON very easy for us. Now, to provide the result of our model through an API, we need to convert this script to a function. 
So go to the top of the script and right after the import statements create a new function and we'll call it detect objects and we're going to give it an argument called image path and then we need to indent the whole script so that it's inside the function so copy the whole script and indent it then scroll up and go to the line to read the image and replace the image name with the image path argument so that it can read the image directly from the folder and at the end of the script change the print statement to return the outputs dictionary the next task is to create a web server using flask to launch our api so open a new tab and save it as app.py then write from flask import flask jsonify and request now to create a flask application we need to create an object so type app is equal to flask underscore underscore name underscore underscore then create a route routes are basically urls that you can visit on your web application in flask each route is associated with a function for that url so we need to define a function so def detect and we'll return a simple header tag to show how it works so h1 hello world close the tag and then write app dot run to start the app and then save now go to the terminal again and type python app dot py you can see the url where our application is running go to that url and you can see hello world now you know how to run a basic flask application now since our API requires the image as an argument, we need to learn how to pass arguments to our API. So go back to detect function and type image is equal to request dot args image. Now we'll just change the return statement a bit. now save and run the file again now if you go to the home page this time you get an error this is because the application was waiting for an argument but didn't get one so write slash and you basically pass queries or arguments in a url using question mark so image is equal to hello world Let's give a space in between and add quotes and then enter. Now you can see the argument that we passed. Now we know how to pass arguments to our app and can finally design the API. Now to create our API, we need to import the object detection function we created. So type from YOLO underscore ob sorry it's underscore detection underscore images import detect objects and since we are creating an API the API link should reflect the application so we're going to change the route to my app slash detect objects next we need to create an image path to send to our function so create a variable and we're going to call it image underscore path is equal to 
images slash and then concatenate the image that the user uploads this way it will read the image from the images folder in the directory now we can call a function to get the results results is equal to detect objects and image path now we're going to edit the return statement to return JSON output we're going to use JSONify function and type results now you can add any image to the images folder to try out the API so save the script again and run it for one final time and open it the default page will again give an error so type our full API URL my app slash detect objects question mark image for the argument and any image name person dot jpg and run it will take a few seconds again to run for our model to fetch the results but now you can see that we have obtained the results in json format now you know how to create a yolo api using flask all right guys that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new today if you liked it please share it with your friends and also subscribe to our channel